Hello, I'm Paul Dajic, founder of Elastic Steel Method of Athletic Condition. Today I'm going to answer another question, which is, why does a sidekick very often look like a bad warehouse? I did a video on this before, however I'm going to go a little bit more in depth into this. Okay, so we have a sidekick, heel travels in straight line. We have a warehouse, circular motion. And then we have something that looks in between. Okay? Where there's no power because you're aiming with the edge or the heel. Okay? It doesn't even reach the target. It's not a linear kick because you're not really using your hip. There's not a kick that comes around for the instep. So it becomes something that you saw out there. And if you have shoes on, maybe it's going to scratch someone, but you're not really going to do any damage. Okay? Your body has to know which way to move the mass. If it's a linear kick, the mass moves in line with the kick. If it's an angle or a circular kick, the body rotates into the kick. Same way as, let's say, a jab or a cross or a hook. Okay, we have jab. It's a straight punch, linear, the mass goes in the direction of the punch. Okay? Same thing with the cross. Hook on the other hand, the body rotates, okay? Because the punch comes around, it's circular, it's angle. Same thing with the kick, you gotta know exactly what's going on. If a kick is circular, like a roundhouse kick, the mass goes in that direction, okay, starting from the rotation of the leg, the body, the hips, the knee, and then the kick comes out. Okay, if it's a straight line kick, like a side kick, the mass shifts into the direction of a kick. If you're doing something in between, that looks like that, okay, you don't know which way to shift your weight behind the kick, and those forces cancel each other out. Okay, now why does that happen? The good thing is, a lot of people who ask me this question, they know what a side kick is supposed to look like. And they know that they're not doing a side kick. Okay? They know that they're doing this. Okay? They know it's not a side kick. They know it's not coming out this way. What is the problem? There's two joints, primarily in the kicking leg. However, there's a lot more joints when we look at the whole kick. A lot of people don't have a problem flexing their knee. Okay, like this. What people have the problem with is the hip. Why? Because there's a lot more muscles, the hip does a lot more things. Okay, here it abducts, it flexes, inward rotates, and that's just the kicking hip. Now, what the supporting hip does also is important, what the pelvis does also is important, lower back. So, there's a lot of things that are going on there in relation just to this hip. The knee just flex or extend, not much rotation is going on there. So, for that reason, we have a lot of issues with that hip. And that shows when you try to sew that kick. You flex the knee completely, okay, but you don't flex the hip completely. So, if you look, what happens is if I'm here, from here to here is a straight line as a kick. If I pull my heel back here, from here to here, the line is not in the same direction as my mass is moving. And when you think of a cycle, you think of moving the mass directly into the target. Okay? So how do we fix this? Well, you could try to fix it by doing the technique differently all you want. If you don't have that hip strength, flexibility, and awareness, nothing's going to happen. Okay? So I'm just going to talk about this hip. There's a lot of issues that can happen with the pelvis position, with the lower back, with the other hip, in matter of fact, even with the other, the standing knee or the standing foot and ankle. I'm just going to talk about this one here. Okay, so exercises. Reciprocal inhibition. Strengthen the flexors, strengthen the inward rotators, strengthen this. Okay? So we're here. I'm going to press a little bit, pull in. Hold for a few seconds, press, pull in, press, pull in. In a matter of fact, don't even worry about the position of the heel. Try to work on the hip, okay? So you want to pull that hip in. 
Okay, if the heel is not coming straight back, if the heel is coming around, that is fine also. Okay, work on this movement. Okay, we press and then we pull. We press and then we pull. Okay, and I'm going to show you one more exercise. Slightly different. It does almost the same thing. The position of the hips and the position of the spine is slightly different because now we're not flexing the spine. Okay, we were flexing the spine here to the kicking leg. We're not going to be flexing here. But if you can't do it standing, you would start here. Okay? So we come here. Okay? We place the hip on the floor. What we're going to do is we're going to stretch towards this leg. Okay? You can hug. If you're back here, you will have to hug and pull the knee in. And you're going to lean back a little bit and lift. Pull back, lift. Okay? Same thing on the other side. So you're sitting here, leg it out to the side. Once again, you may not have this flexibility either, so you might have to do it standing. Okay, so we're here, we hug this leg. I go back a little bit, go back forward. Once I go back, notice there's a very weight of the leg that's working on the opposing muscles. However, of course, I can come up and press against it and then come here. I can just use my weight for the stretch or I can pull it in. Okay? So I can press or just leave it here. Here I can just sit, use my weight or pull it in. Now, if your psychic looks like a right house and the issue is awareness, you might have this flexibility and this strength. For most people, the issue is that you can't really build an awareness for technique that you can't do because you're lacking strength and flexibility for it. Okay? So you will see that you might be coming here and this is it. And then when you try to lean back and lift the leg, it's going to be like this. Okay? So you will have a little bit more, usually a little bit more flexibility than you will have the strength. Okay, so if this is your flexibility, you won't be able to be here. The strength will be right here. Okay? So those are two exercises. Do them correctly, work on the hip, work on slow kicks, work on straight line, that your heel travels. Remember that to kick with your heel, if you kick with an edge, it's next to the heel, or kick with the heel itself. Okay? Thank you for watching.